I'm Tisha Bader with Shalom TV's news update for Thursday, December the 5th, 2013. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu welcomed U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry back to Israel this morning. Kerry arrived in the country last night and met today with Netanyahu in Jerusalem, where the two addressed several main issues, including working towards a final deal with Iran. The Prime Minister said, we believe it is crucial to bring about a final agreement about the termination of Iran's military nuclear capability. He also said that steps must be taken to prevent the further erosion of sanctions. Regarding peace talks with the Palestinians, Netanyahu said that Israel is ready for a historic peace, a peace based on two states for two peoples. The Prime Minister also cited Palestinian leadership creating what he called artificial crises regarding the peace talks, saying that greater understanding and deeper commitment to the talks were what were needed. If this, price is, if this process is going to continue, we're going to have to have a continual negotiation. Uh, we don't need artificial crises. Uh, I think we don't need finger pointing either. Uh, what we need uh, is not grandstanding, but understanding and agreements. And that requires hard and serious work. It actually requires that we do not uh, put before you, gentlemen and ladies of the press, everything that we're discussing, but to have these real discussions inside uh, in a sustained effort to bridge historic gaps and provide security. Kerry addressed both the Iran and Palestinian peace talks issues and reiterated the U.S.'s commitment to Israel's security regarding final deal talks with Iran. Israel's security in this negotiation is at the top of our agenda. And the United States will do everything in our power to make certain that Iran's nuclear program, a program of weaponization possibilities, is terminated. We agree on what the goal of the final status agreement ought to be. And in the days and weeks ahead, uh, we will consult very closely and continually with our Israeli friends in order to bring about a comprehensive agreement that can withstand everybody's test. Kerry also said the U.S. would be vigilant regarding sanctions with Iran. And in addressing the peace talks with the Palestinians, Kerry said he believes there was progress being made and that both parties were committed. Kerry emphasized there, too, that Israel's security was fundamental to the peace negotiations. He ended his statement reiterating the unbreakable bond between the U.S. and Israel and said, and while occasionally we might have a difference of a tactical measure, we do not have a difference about the fundamental strategy that we both seek with respect to the security of Israel and the long-term peace of this region. Israel's Environmental Protection Minister Amir Peretz is in Turkey today. He is attending an environmental conference in Istanbul. Peretz is the first Israeli cabinet minister to visit Turkey since the Mavi Marmara incident in May of 2010, when, as you may recall, a flotilla set out from Turkey to break the Israeli blockade on Gaza. When Israeli forces attempted to board the ship, they were attacked by armed protesters, and in the clashes that ensued, nine Turkish activists were killed. Relations since the incident with Turkey have been severely strained. Peretz expressed hope that relations with Turkey would improve in the near future. The event Peretz is attending is a four-day UN-sponsored conference about Mediterranean marine and coastal environmental issues. The scheduling vote is to provide wish fulfillment. U.S. Representative Elliot Engel, the senior Democratic member of the House of Representatives Foreign Affairs Committee, was appointed chairman of the International Council of Jewish Parliamentarians, or the ICJP, this week. The ICJP is an initiative of the World Jewish Congress, and the appointment took place at a two-day meeting of the group's steering committee in New York and Washington. Engel said he was honored to head the important body. He said the ICJP represents Jewish parliamentarians from all over the world, and today's meeting represents an important opportunity for Congress to hear from a broad array of Jewish voices on issues of mutual concern. Engel said that the two-day meeting included discussions about the concerns of the global Jewish community, including the negotiations with Iran and growing anti-Semitism across Europe in particular. 
He said that out of the talks, the committee adopted resolutions on Iran, as well as on anti-Semitism in Europe and in Latin America, and also began drafting a resolution on religious freedoms and practices in Europe. He also noted that he and the committee agreed to send President Obama a letter calling for the president to commute the prison sentence of convicted Israeli spy Jonathan Pollard. The ICJP was founded rather, as an informal association of Jewish parliamentarians and elected officials from around the world who meet periodically to promote democracy and human rights and combat racism, anti-Semitism, and all forms of bigotry. It serves as a platform to support Israel and the security of Jewish communities across the globe. The American Jewish Committee is calling on members of the American Studies Association to reject a resolution calling for a boycott of Israeli academic institutions. A resolution was adopted by the ASA's National Council this week, but members of the organization have until December the 15th to vote on it. AJC Director on Anti-Semitism and Extremism Kenneth Stern said the ASA action is despicable, contravenes the most basic values of academic freedom, and does nothing to advance the cause of Israeli-Palestinian peace. The ASA describes itself as, quote, devoted to the interdisciplinary study of American culture and history. Their leadership endorsed the boycott of Israeli universities following a debate at the group's annual meeting last month. It was approved unanimously by the 20-member National Council. They posted the announcement of a decision on their website yesterday. The organization NGO Monitor received the Menachem Begin Prize last night in Israel for, quote, exposing the political agenda and ideological bias of humanitarian organizations that use the discourse of human rights to delegitimize Israel. NGO Monitor is an independent research institute based in Jerusalem that aims to promote accountability of nonprofit organizations by publicizing distortions of human rights issues in the Arab Israeli conflict. They were nominated for the award by 2010 Begin Prize recipient Professor Alan Dershowitz and Jewish agency head Natan Sharansky, among others. President of NGO Monitor Professor Gerald Steinberg said at the event last night that this award is recognition that NGO Monitor has made a difference in terms of the Israeli democratic debate and in terms of countering the human rights abuse of Israel bashing. The Menachem Begin Heritage Center has presented this award annually since 1999 at its center in Jerusalem to an organization or person for extraordinary acts that benefit the state of Israel and the Jewish people. Turning to some entertainment news, Israeli actress and model Gal Gadot has been cast as Wonder Woman in the new film Batman vs. Superman, the sequel to Man of Steel. The Hollywood Reporter named Gadot as the role-winning actress. She will star alongside Ben Affleck and Henry Cavill in the film, which is scheduled to open in 2015. Gadot, who was born in the Israeli city of Rosh Ha'ain and served in the IDF, won the Miss Israel title in 2004 and went on to represent Israel at the Miss Universe pageant. She has since acted in several films in the U.S., but this is being seen as her breakout role. And finally, this evening's programming on Shalom TV for Thursday, December the 5th, includes a fascinating L'chaim with Mark Golub, who is joined by Qasim Hafiz, who describes how his traditional Muslim education taught him to hate Jews and Israel, and his personal journey that took him to Israel and why he now considers himself a Muslim Zionist. That's tonight on L'Chaim at 9 here on Shalom TV and ShalomTV.com. And that's Shalom TV's news update for Thursday, December the 5th, 2013. I'm Tisha Bader.